YouTube, what's up boys? We built a new theme team, and yes, I fully understand that I have a problem, I have an addiction. Another new theme team. Uh, we built this on stream, I wanna say, two days ago. I won't be live tonight, I just got done with two exams today. I've got my final, final exam, my last final exam, tomorrow. And then after that, we're gonna be streaming every single day on Twitch. And uh, I'll be able to finalize this team. Technically, it's not done yet. I most likely won't be live tonight, but after my exam tomorrow on Thursday, I'll be live playing Weekend League with this theme team. So if you want to see it in action, place to be Father Jock on Twitch. I'm sure you guys can tell. We have a Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Green Bay Packers theme team by the title, obviously. When we were live, chat helped me out, and they said, you know, if you're going to run the ball a lot, you should probably build a theme team around some running backs, right? So, you know, we're going through all the theme teams, and one team really, really, really stuck out because I'm going to need guys going up the middle. I'm going to also need speed on the edge. I can use Lamar Jackson with 99 speed. You know, that's no problem. And when Derrick Henry comes out, I can use his card, and that'll be good for our quarterback with the speed option. But we need good running backs and good fullbacks to block for us. And so, I, you know, I was thinking, and Chad goes, you know, what about a Buccaneers theme team? I haven't made a Bucks theme team video at all this year, so it actually kind of works out for me because I get a chance to use their theme team. Plus, I have the Tom Brady, and he'll be at like 95 or like 97 speed when he's fully powered up on this theme team. So we're going to be able to make a Bucks video, and I went ahead and built a 50 out of 50 Tampa Bay Buccaneers theme team, and we added a 25 out of 50 Packers theme team. The reason we added Packers was because their golden ticket slate for the next couple weeks is crazy. We already have AJ Dillon, who's our starting running back right now. He's 99 speed, like 240 pounds, just a beast. And the Packers are also getting Rasul Douglas. Uh, they're getting Ted Hendricks. So those are going to be two absolute goons to use in 6-1. They also have some good key players on defense as well. And this team, I'm going to tell you guys right now, this team isn't done yet. I'm kind of holding off to see what golden tickets we get this weekend. Because if we get Rasul Douglas, I'll just start him at corner. And then, like, I don't have Darrell Reeves' full card. He's like 1.2 mil. So I'm kind of waiting to see what I'm going to do with the remainder of my coins. I am going to rip a bundle on, like, Friday probably when golden tickets come out. Just going to drop $100. Screw it. Because I technically am a little bit short on coins right now. Pretty much the entire team's built outside of a few players. I am using Ed Tutal Jones and Jerry Rice because they were gifted to me. Shout out to Nate and shout out to Garrett for that. And I guess we could just start by going through our offensive scheme. So like I mentioned, I am using Lamar Jackson at quarterback. And in the pistol strong slot scheme with the speed option, he's going to be, it's going to be quarterback. It's going to be fullback. It's going to be running back. And really Lamar with a lead blocker is just going to start running. And you know, we're pretty much going to run with him at least like 15 times a game. We've got trust as his X factor, recuperation, fast break, jukebox, pass lead elite and Homer. So when we're playing at home, you know, instead of needing 10 carries of a single yard, to activate trust. We're going to be able to only do it in five, which is nice. And then these are Lamar Jackson's stats. Obviously, he's going to be the fastest quarterback in the game. Acceleration's 99. Agility's 99. He's going to be sticky. He's going to be disgusting. And uh, I'm really excited to use this Lamar Jackson. I only used him a couple times in videos, and I never really got to take him into like a weekend league or something like that. So this weekend, Lamar Jackson's our QB1. And as I already mentioned, when Tom Brady gets his goal 99, I'll be able to try him. When Derrick Henry gets a goal and ticket, I'll probably try him as well. Starting at quarterback, you know, you might be thinking there's a couple running backs coming out with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers theme team. LeGarrette Blunt just came out today. We got Vita Vea goal and ticket coming out soon, which I'm very excited to use. But we're going to start off with AJ Dillon, Freight Trading, and Leapfrog on this guy. Golden ticket, 98 speed on the theme team. I'm trying to get my running back strat card but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. And you can see his stats right there. The running back is really only going to get like 10 carries a game in this offense, but still we do need someone that's explosive, someone that can just run people over, also run by people. Six foot, 247 pounds is definitely going to be, you know, versatile enough to do that for us. And then at fullback, we do have the infamous Mike Allstott with one AP tank, which is really, really, really nice. I'm going to be running the ball. This player right here is probably going to get the ball like 10 to 12 times as well. I'm going to be running the ball a lot. It's going to be toxic, but it's May. I'm ready. School's almost done, and I'm going to be playing this game every single day. So Mike Allstott's going to have freight train. He's going to have tank for 1 AP, like I said. And then looking at his stats, he's 6'1", 248 pounds, so lots of size. 97 speed is actually crazy on this guy, and he can also lead block for us with 98 lead blocking. So, you know, Bucks comes going crazy with our running backs. Uh, I feel like I definitely made the right choice with the theme team, you know, to run the ball. And then we already mentioned two of our receivers. We do have Ed Tutal Jones. We do have Jerry Rice. I'm going to be running Deep Out Elite and Honorary Lineman. Just feel like Deep Out Elite's going to come in clutch in case I need to pass on like third and long or fourth and long and something like that. Ed Tutal, not the fastest on this theme team, but as long as he can block and as long as he can get open like three, four times a game, that's really all I need him for. And as I mentioned, he was gifted to me. So he's staying on the team forever. Another receiver, when we're going to be running the ball, is Mike Evans, another big dude, but physical archetype, which is actually 
For the only time, like, in the history of this game, the physical archetype actually comes into play. He gets honorary line. Uh, we'll see if Mike Evans can work his way up and maybe dethrone Jerry Rice and I put a receiving ability on him, but... I mean, he could. He, Mike Evans definitely could. He's a great receiver, great stats on the Bucks theme team. We'll see if he sees the field. I mean, I could go bunch and stuff like that. Running Ravens offense, by the way, in case you were wondering. And then on Jerry Rice, we've just got his 2AP playmaker. I'm not going to go through his stats. Our offensive line is decent. Could use some work. We do have room for fillers, which is cool. Like, I don't even have a tight end three in right now, which is, which is kind of nice. That's pretty much our offensive scheme. There's one more card I do have to show you. Uh, he's going to be lurking in the specialist tab. Just in case AJ Dillon messes up, we've already got Laguerre Blunt fully powered up. Ready to go, and his stats are disgusting. He's not activated, and he's not in the starting lineup, but he still does get bucks, cams, like uh, he gets the boost and everything. So he's six foot, two hundred fifty pounds, ninety nine speed, ninety seven break tackle, ninety nine acceleration. Agility's kind of low, but if AJ Dillon somehow like fumbles or something like that, you better believe Garrett Blunt's ready to go for the twenty five games this weekend. I'll probably just cycle between the Garrett Blunt and AJ Dillon and kind of just see who I like using more because they're gonna get different animations and stuff like that. But like Garrett Blunt is ready to go. And that's going to round out our offense. I'm going to go through our defense briefly for 6-1. Like I said, there's going to be no gameplay today. But I just kind of want to let you guys know what we're doing. And then eventually by the end of this weekend, maybe we do some weekly gameplay. Maybe I upload some weekly gameplay for you guys. Already mentioned, Darrell Revis' full card is not on the team. He's 1.2 mil, just a little bit outside of my budget. I do plan on getting a bundle this weekend. But I also might just replace his card completely with a Rasul Douglas or a Ted Hendricks if one of those guys come out. Ed Tutal Jones is also going to be a factor. I got to do my solos. I might save them for the level reset, which is, I think, is tomorrow, right? And then nothing's really going to change with 6-1. We're going to have our user Tyreek Hill, another golden ticket in our lineup. He's going to have Lurker and Acrobat on this card. 5-9-9-9 speed. Great user. I honestly really like using Tyreek Hill. He can run with receivers across the middle. And in 6-1, he is really just so devious, it's disgusting. One of our linebackers that I'm going to put in coverage is Dave Robinson, who is probably the best pass coverage linebacker in the game. Packers theme team, plus one speed boosted on him with Lurker. Our two safeties up top are going to be Mike Evans and Jimmy Graham for right now, which is nasty. They're both massive. And then uh, Charles Woodson is going to be one of our corners. So kind of just waiting on corner upgrades. I could use, and I actually might use Pierre Desir uh, just to start weekly before... I go out and upgrade our corner. I don't know why I powered Revis up. I know I knew he was so expensive, but like 1.2, 1.2 mil is crazy when I can just get a goal and take it for like 300k, you know? So like in my heart, I want to get Revis, but at the same time, it's like, is he really going to play better than like if I just went out and got Cordero Patterson's goal and ticket? You know, probably not. Then D-line, we've got Ndamukong and Sue, Vita Vea playing defensive tackle, uh, both with inside stuff. We have Warren Sapp. We also have Reggie White. I do need an edge rusher. I was thinking about using Bruce Smith's filler. Because Kabir Biamilia Jabbar is uh, another million coins. So, I mean, like, the LTDs on this team are kind of tough. I might go get, like, Bruce Smith as a filler. So, like, you can see there's a couple question marks on this theme team. But the entire core of it's already constructed. And, yeah, I think there's one more guy I'm using in the specialist tab I got to show you. I'm using this Sean Taylor as another coverage linebacker with Lurker and Crusher. He might, like, he's kind of like a test. It could be him. It could be Anthony Barr. Not too sure what I want to do with that yet, but Sean Taylor will get the nod to start weekly. And that's pretty much our lineup update, I feel like. I don't think I missed anything or left anything out. And if you guys want to see the strategy cards, you guys are absolutely more than welcome. We've got Ravens offense, uh, Rams defense. We've got the Island Bull Rush, Deep Route Specialist, and Play Fake. Those are my strat cards right now. I want to get a running back speed strat. I just don't know if I'll be able to get my hands on one because I don't really have training to roll TVPs right now. But yeah, so a little bit of like a teaser. I built a new theme team video, lineup update, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to have gameplay on the channel tomorrow. My last exam is tomorrow. And then after that, I'll be streaming Thursday night playing Weekend League with this theme team. And then I'll probably upload a video on Friday of this team. We'll do some other theme teams in there, throw some stuff around. You know, just because it's May does not mean we're slowing down with Madden content. I'm done with school this week, and then after that, I'll be live on Twitch every day. So if you guys aren't following the Twitch, Father Jock, if you guys want to hang out for a little bit, definitely more than welcome. Hopefully you guys finish school strong. I've got one more day left. Wish me luck, but that being said, Jock signing.